Okay, so in this latest version of Solus, Solus 4 Fortitude, it's saying here on March 17th, 2019, Joshua Strobel, the experience lead, wrote a blog post basically announcing that it was released. This is across for all their versions that they have. Uh, I believe they have the Budgie version, obviously. They have a GNOME version, a, a Mate version, Plasma version. So he says here, uh, we are proud to announce the immediate availability of Solus 4 Fortitude, a new major release of the Solus operating system. This release uh, delivers a brand new budget experience updated sets of default applications and theming in the hardware enablement so they focus somewhat on the budget here but obviously the, all the other uh, distribution I mean uh, versions also get uh, updated as well and in general some of the things that they've updated uh, Firefox LibreOffice Rhythmbox Thunderbird budget now ships with the additions of Gnome MPV and the Mate edition ships with VLC. So that's the difference. Uh, that's what they refer to as the, the desktop versions that they have editions. There's some hardware and kernel enablements that they released. Kernel uh, 4.20.16, some AMD Picasso and Raven 2 APUs, AMD Vega 20 and broader Vega 10 enablement. Furthermore, the Linux 4.20 expands the support for hard, uh, other hardware devices such as touchpad support for Lenovo IdeaPad 130.15iKB and so on. To media upgrades as well, FFMPEG has has been uh, updated. The software center has some minor refinements and fixes ahead of our planned rewrite. Specifically, we have fixed instances. Search results may not show the package or summary description when ampersand is used. So some little bit more additions to their software center. The Budgie desktop, it says sell us here, ships with our brand new release of Budgie 10.x series, Bungie, Budgie, excuse me, uh, 10.5, as well as uh, complementing this release with by shipping Solus 4 out of the box with the Plata Noir JTK thing. So they've updated the, the theme to it. And I think, I mean, just from this screenshot here, it looks really nice. They've done some really interesting things to the Raven menu. It says here's budget menu. Budget menu over here uh, has been updated with some app list, caffeine mode, icon task list. And we're gonna have a look at it real quick. So I'm just kind of skimming through this, uh, the, the blog post here. So these, these these have been updated with a new theme. The Raven menu here is really cool. Uh, it's one of the, my favorite features when I use the Solus. Currently I'm not on Solus, but uh, this may be the thing that kind of brings me back to Solus. <laughs> sound, uh, some things. Uh, our sound widget has been completely rewritten and redesigned. It looks great. Uh, we've broken up into widgets so the sound output and sound input fix some long standing bugs and introduce long sought after features. For sound output, we can now enable all uh, allow raising volume above 100%, option cranking up to 150. Great for parties or movie watching, so that's kind of fun. Uh, last but not least, in the event that you have no output or, or devices, we'll automatically hide the respective widgets in Raven. Plug in a device and they'll automatically show up. So it's a little bit of uh, improvements for the user interface and things like that. Personalization, we have strong, uh, strongly believe that budget should provide a balanced and curated desktop experience for users and enabling a reasonable level of personalization out of the box and empower our users and downstream such as Ubuntu Budgie and open up the world of possibilities with Budgie, Budgie applets. So the style has been updated. You can uh, obviously do a lot more things to customize it in the Budgie desktop settings. Uh, uh, panel uh, Raven again has been updated to things like that windows you can do certain things with the windows and then they go on to talk about what the updates are for their gnome edition the Mate edition and the plasma edition then they go on to thank everybody who contributed to the desktop and if you want to help out you can go ahead and help them out as well and then they give you the full change log of the things that have happened and uh, excuse me things have been updated within the Solus this newest Solus edition so let's go ahead and have a look now at the uh, actual desktop here. I have it running inside a virtual machine because again, I haven't had the time to actually install it on my actual hardware. So I have it running inside a VirtualBox uh, instance here. So again, looks great, looks uh, amazing and a great wallpaper to for the release. And uh, you know, the Budgie desktop here, this is the Budgie edition. It's actually a really straightforward uh, uh, desktop uh, to use. Great for new users. Um, if you're gonna basically be putting someone uh, new to uh, Linux, give them some kind of distribution. So this is a good option to go with, with the Budgie desktop. It is available for Ubuntu. So if you're more familiar with Ubuntu or feel, feel like you want to put them on Ubuntu, you can do that as well. But yeah, the Solus edition is probably the top notch one. So they have the budget menu over here and it's really fast as you see. This is like only running on two gigabytes of, uh, you know, uh, RAM on the on the virtual machine. So if you, you can see it just with two gigabytes, it's really responsive. So yeah, and it's really, it's, you know, broken down by basically categories, the accessories, graphics, uh, internet, office, sound and audio, uh, video, excuse me, system settings, tools so the budget desktop settings if you click on here you know the uh, you can switch out the themes if you want the icons 
the type of cursor, whether you want a light or dark theme, uh, we'll stick with the dark theme. Uh, the desktop, if you want to show the desktop icons, some fonts, you can change those around as well. Things you can do with the Raven menu, things you can do with the, the window, uh, change the borders, button layout, and things like that. The way you want bottom panel to look like, you can just switch that from here. You can create a new panel and whatever the auto start applications you want. So the budget desktop settings uh, uh, panel right here is just really straightforward, really easy to understand, and it gives you a lot of uh, customability to the budget desktop as well. And all these little applets down here that they have are great, very useful. You know, I could just give you a quick example here of the, we can change the time here to that, and then, you know, change the time over here. Calendar settings, you can go to the, you can actually open up the calendar as well. Things like that, it's all, you know, really, really fast, really straightforward really easy to do within uh, Budgie. But one of the biggest things is over here, the Raven menu, which is why I've always found it very useful when I was using it full time. So inside the Raven menu, you get, you get the little uh, calendar applet, the volume, you can uh, choose uh, play music straight from here. You can choose the applications and devices that you know those, those, those that music is coming from. You can raise and lower the volume here for the microphone. And then you get your notifications over here. So whenever like you get a notification from any of your applications on your, uh, on your system, they come in here. And this is where you can kind of review them and they're all centralized here in this little location. This way that it's not constantly popping up or you forget about a certain notification that came through. You can just easily get to it from there. And again, you can add uh, multiple uh, applets to this to the budgie menu through the budgie menu settings. So let's go ahead and look at uh, a couple little things, the gears. Again, they have Firefox, you know, Gnome BV. You know, this, this new theme looks great. I think it looks uh, really good. One of the things that I remember last time, they didn't quite have uh, Samba support yet. They did have FTP support. You know, it's just one of those things I have to check out. Uh, obviously, I can't do it within here, within the virtual machine. I can't test that out uh, quite now. It'll be interesting to see if, uh, if that's working now. But uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I think that this is a, a great release for them. Congratulations to the team. So yeah, you can go ahead and check that out at getsoul.us. Uh, if you're more inclined and if you want to help them out, you can download, uh, excuse me, you can donate to the project as well to kind of help out uh, the development of it. You know, it costs money to run servers. <laughs> so if you guys want to help them out, you can do that as well. Uh, it's a great project. Uh, they've done a lot of work, obviously, to release this one. And you can go read up more about it at their website. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel to get more uh, videos such as this one. And if you want to check out other distributions, I can do that as well. If uh, you want to help out the channel, you can check out the affiliate links inside the description and or you can check out the Kofi link that I have a link there in the bottom of here of the video. That's just a quick little uh, kind of donation thing that you can if you guys want to go ahead and help out that way. Uh, thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you next time.